Hello, all you uh, hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? And all you new ones out there who've joined, welcome to the members area. Uh, it's nice to uh, do a members video. Uh, you get 10 a month. These videos don't go on uh, YouTube. We did, we did put a weapon one on here. And there were loads of people crying, oh, Porky, you're trying to extort money from us, putting it on members area. You know we like met with it. You know we like weapon at week. So that's not entirely true. I put it on members area because I wanted members to see it first. Then once all members had seen it, and there were you know a couple hundred people had seen it, I put it on YouTube. So that's why. So, because the people on the members area are paying the five ninety nine, the so called hardcores on YouTube, we're not paying it, are they? So, you've got to give them some anti on the on, on members. So, all right, like I said, it's an extra ten videos, less than sixty pence a video. Right, Calm Brook rematch. What? Wow, it's got a rematch clause. <laughs> you know, you know when I heard that. I had a feeling they had one, but nobody talk, nobody was talking about it, was it? Everybody were all silent, weren't they? We were all a bit, ooh, nobody was saying anything, was it? Nobody was saying a fucking word about it, was it? And I thought to myself, I bet they've got one, but they're just not saying no. Calm Brook rematch. Well, they're both in the mid-30s. They've both got miles on clock. One's got a weak chin. Other one's got two shattered eye sockets, right? Now, you're on about going blind and all that and, and, and never going to fight her that weight again. He's fighting at 149, isn't he? What's all that about? You know, Kel Brook, you know, they were saying he were, he were big, he were huge, he were really a super middle boiled down. So they put him in at middleweight and Eddie Hearn was saying he's going to stay at that weight. Got beat, came back to 147, got smashed up. Got put into orbit two fights on trot. Crawford put him into orbit at 147. Years later, nobody's looking out for Kel Brook. Do I see rematch happening? Well, we're out of the first fight. Yeah, have we? <laughs> All getting above the stations and greedy. But I'm going to get behind it because Eddie Hills is not involved, is he? So I'm going to get behind it. Who do I want to win? I actually like both kids. I've met them both. Uh, I've had more conversations with Amir than I have with Kel Brook. But I do like Kel Brook. Uh, I don't think he's the same fighter he were. Well, we all know that, don't we? Amir's not the same fighter. But his CV pisses all over Brooks, doesn't it? Let's have it right. He's the big draw, isn't he? He brings that world appeal, doesn't he? You know what I mean? He should, he should be getting more money. He probably is. But this rematch clause, because they haven't had the first one yet. There isn't even a belt online, is there? So they, so they get paid out for the pensions twice, don't they, if they have it? It's not bad, is it, if you can get it? Two Sky pay-per-views at end career. What's that tech, Kel Brooks? How many pay-per-views he had now? He's had a lot, hasn't he? Carl Frotch only had three. The living legend, the great Carl Frotch, free sky pay per views. He built it. He brought it back. After Audrey Harrison and David A ruined it, he built it. You know, <laughs> rematch clause, Kel Brook, Amir Khan. Oh, my God. A rematch clause for these. Both nice kids. I hope they both get home safe to the families. But if one of them ends up really hurt, really hurt, will all the people involved will they hang their heads in shame? If Kel Brook gets another smashed eye socket and they can't do with it and his face is all lopsided, will Dominic Ingle and Kel Brook's stepdad, Terry Thompson, will they hold their hands up and say, We've got blood? I, 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 we've got we've got blood blood money here. Will will they do that? Who's going to be looking out for Kel Brook when he's talking like Dave Allen in about ten years? 
Nobody's going to be looking out for Kel Brook, are they? Amir's got advisors. To speak to, to get close to Amir, you need to speak to his advisor or, or, or speak to another advisor. So he, he, he's, he's uh, protected and he's a lot quicker than Kel and he'll be up for it. I make Amir a favourite, but oh, could happen, can't it? If Amir gets caught, he's going to go. Timing makes speed. Timing beats speed. Pop fans, chocolate brownie. Ch Timing beats speed when I've got chocolate brownies. Chocolate brownies melt, don't they? I think Kel's chocolate brownie days are gone. It may look the part and all that, but... I don't know. Kel could quite easily beat Khan and, it, and Khan could quite easily beat him. But they're going to have to have a go if they want that rematch, aren't they? They're going to have to make it exciting because we're going to have Eddie Hearn stick it knife and all the way, aren't we, on this fight? So it's going to be interesting, isn't it, to see what happens. But uh, we'll see, won't we? Okie dokie. So I wish both fighters all the best and good luck to them if they have a rematch in winter. You might do it at Old Trafford, eh? You never know. Or oh, Bolton. All right. Peace out.